It's got a lot of leeches. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, we've been trekking for about five or six hours through leeches, rice paddies. Went through the Sondon National Park. Uh, had a homestay at the only local village in the area. Um, it's been a pretty good day. Um, it's been a little bit warm, but not too hot. The sun's only just come out, mist in the morning. Everything's been all right. And we've just reached the entrance. This is not Sondon itself. This is the first cave that takes us into the cave system of Sondon, which goes for about 10 kilometers. Check it out. Okay, guys, this is Hung En. It's uh, the second biggest or third biggest cave in the world, depending on who you talk to. It's three million years old. Discovered in 1994. It's named after all the swallows that nest inside. It's inside the Phong Nha National Park. That's the campsite down there that we're going to be spending the first night in. It's 1.6 kilometers long. 180 meters wide, 140 meters across, and 120 meters high, higher in some other places. That's my friend Rachel. We're just messing around with the exposure time, taking photos at night time. Just doing a little bit of exploring, but every day we ate like kids. <laughs> Eight to ten traditional Vietnamese dishes, rice, soup. I put on two kilos over the whole trip. January and February are the only months that the sun rays actually come into the into the cave itself. I was eating breakfast, realized it was gonna happen that moment, grabbed my phone, stopped eating, ran up to this viewpoint, and just tried to take it all in. It's such a massive place. You could easily fit two cricket fields in there. Start of the next day going through the 1.6 kilometer cave. Lots of river crossings, lots of bouldering, scrambling over rocks, nothing too technical. Anyone with a adventurous spirit and can touch your toes, Oxalis can take care of you and get you through Hung En and Son Don. So it's designed for everyone. You can see the exit in the background there uh, 75 meter stalactites, these things were so massive, it was so hard to capture on film. But um, that's the exit. I don't know how high it is, but it looked like the sky was inside the cave. No mosquitoes. No more leeches inside, which is always good. They turned on lots of floodlights to light the area up, so we could... Um, take as much video and photo as we wanted to. Really a good trip. Three million years old. It uh, really takes your breath away. That's one of the safety dudes. We hung out a fair bit, just strolling, not in a hurry, trying to soak it all in. It really is hard to explain how large this thing is, but... Um, definitely worth the trip definitely worth the money it's not cheap but um, there's nothing else like it in the world it was a great workout for the legs um, body felt fine I did the whole thing in sandals which was um, pretty easy going uh, the water wasn't too cold, plenty of swims at night, lots of river systems, rock formations there from the drips from the ceiling, and that's the exit from a distance. Uh, I don't know how big it is, but it's big. After two days, we exited um, back in the leeches and river crossings, but, um, you know, that's just adventure. You want to see these things? You've got to go to these places. Now we're just going to spend the next couple of hours with heaps more river crossings making our way to Sondong.